Welcome back to Facts Return, folks. I have set up our little things here, our sensors, so that these are now turned off and not sending out any books because there is more than 50 down in this barn. But we are not producing enough books, and that is because we haven't put in enough people in all of these buildings so let's do that and the lumber mill is at five the workshop needs to be at five and i guess this needs to be at at least three so hopefully we'll be producing a lot more books now i guess this can go up to three as well all right so we are producing. You are... Are you waiting for... Yes, you are. Let's stick you up to five then. Alright, now it's going all the time. And we will be producing a lot more books. So that has four in it. Two... And how many do we have waiting when that one comes down again? Three, four, we'll have quite a few. Five, six, six books. And for the next one, that won't get nowhere near as many, but we get three. Okay. Question is, do we really need to have two carts on here? I guess we don't, because the carts can carry, what, I think 20? So let's delete you, and just have one cart going. And that will pick up 8 right now. Right, so it's better. It's better. All right. And we don't really need these going all the time because we are basically the sales of, of books is in the same slot in the speciality goods store. So we'll be selling some and then I think here we're, we're selling the strength spell books every time. And... Once we run out of those, then the others will start selling. If we ever run out of those, that's the question. So maybe I should actually say if, for well, the strength spell book, if equals zero. Then you can go, else you cannot, because I, we don't do that, we'll never be selling any of the other ones. Was it Cure that we had in there? Yeah, Cure Spellbooks. And we do want to sell both. And I guess we'll do the same with the... With the stamina spell books, if those go down to zero, then you can go. Else, no. All right. Okay. So that we will be selling some of all of the books getting us coins for all of the different colors of coins and we are actually losing yellow coins at the moment so we need to get that up somehow uh, it's production yellow coins that we are losing quite a lot of yellow coins i think 
60,000. Well, we're actually up a tiny bit. So maybe we're not. Maybe we're okay. Which would be great. Which would be great. All right. So that is everything being made. Why are you not producing? You're waiting on fire. Why are you waiting on fire? Okay, there comes some fire and fuel. You don't need fuel, do you? You do. Okay, here comes some fuel for you. All right. So let's just take a look here. Are we constantly producing? Yes, it seems like we are. So that's all good. We might need to set up another one to increase our fuel output. I think we do. I think we do. So let's do that. I think that was a little bump there. So let's set up a second uh, F3. There. And I actually think I want to do this. So that it gets a little bit more there and we need some splitters here here and here and we need to put in the pipes oh we need a shrine as well right so let's build fire shrine here And now we can put in the pipes. So up there, over to, down and in there. And we will have the bypass there. And then we need an output, which can just come over there. And then we need some fire crystals. So uh, workers, caravan. Where do we have fire? We have fire over here. Right here. Let's grab some fire crystals. And move you. And stick them in there. And we'll stick all of them in there. Delete you again. All right. So more fuel coming along. Excellent. That'll speed things up a bit. Ooh, we have a lot of metal conveyors now. That is beautiful. And we're up to 86, 85, 86 happiness, which isn't half bad, which isn't half bad. What are we actually missing? We are missing ethers but we were producing and selling ethers i guess not uh, we're only doing fire ether or are we even doing fire ether this is completely full of ointment great i have forgotten to filter something and doing a lot of stuff so that is something that we will need to fix at some point so the apothecary is actually low on bandages. We have potions and salvies. We don't have ethers. The general store is selling everything, but we definitely need more metal conveyor belts. We definitely need more metal conveyor belts. And what did you just drop off, I wonder? 
We dropped off pickaxes. How many pickaxes do we have waiting for it? Three. Four. Not a lot. Not a lot. But our happiness is up to 90 now. Not bad. Reinforced. Also just four. We have five. How many cloaks do we have waiting for? I guess that'll be five before it gets there. Yeah, five. Maybe even six. Yeah, six. Seven? Seven? Yes, seven. Okay. So, yeah. We... We need more production, kind of. We kind of need more production. But for now, it's fine. But we do need to fix this. So let's just pause for a second. I am going to empty out these two ointments. And we're going to fix it uh, right now. So we have, where is the elixir? There. Then we have ointment there. Then we have medical wraps. And then we have, I guess, fire ether, right? Fire ether, all right. And we are going to upgrade this. You are off. Why? Fire ether less than 50 over here. There is less than 50. So why are you off? Let's, let's remove these lamps. Let's remove these logic links if I can. Doesn't seem like I can. Come on. There we go. Alright. So we'll set you to on. Offset is fine. Why do you have a value of 52, I wonder? So you are offset to over there. And you are connected to that. So you need to connect to that. And that should turn this on. So it's on now. We really should have it going into a barn, shouldn't we? We don't right now. All right, is this uh, fixed? No, I forgot to fix it over here. So let's just pause and fix this. We need a pipe there, we need a pipe there, and we need a connector there. All right. Okay, so we have fire ether going, and our boat is set off correctly, right? Yeah. All right, so why are we not making medical wraps? They are there. Let's remove that. You are offset to over there. Let's set you to zero and see, connect you to that, and you are connected to that, which needs to be on right now. Oh, that's the problem.
or what? No, because we're only outputting medical wraps. But we are getting everything right now, so that's fine. And hopefully this will work. All right. So elixir and ointment should actually be off now. Let's see, are they? So elixir is not off. Why not? Let's move these logic links. No, no. Okay, so you should not be connected to that. Can we remove that? Please. Come on. There we go. Right, so you are connected over there. That's fine. Let's set you to zero. I don't actually know what that value is for. Then we'll connect you to there and you are connected to there. And that should actually be off right now. Because we have a lot. And the same for ointment. Ointment. You are offset to over there, that's fine. You are connected to that, that's fine. And you are connected to that, which should be off right now. Hopefully that fixes it. Hopefully that fixes it. No, I'm not actually sure. All right. We're still getting elixir. Oh, it's coming out there. Aha. That's why. All right. We can fix that. So hopefully this works. Hopefully. You are not producing. You're missing ointment. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a kind of a problem. That's kind of a problem. That's actually a really big problem. Hmm. So we can't really bunch up the ointment and this and the medical wraps on the same belt because we want ointment for the workshop but we don't want ointment to go over here because we already have a ton of it so how do we fix that? I suppose it's not that hard. I suppose it's not that hard. Basically we need a second output. And that output will go over there. And this one will go onto the line. So let's let's do that.
There. And then we'll just need a grabber. There. Alright. And we don't need the splitter. And this actually just needs to go that way. Alright. That should do it. We're not getting elixirs right now. And that's okay because we have 97 in there. So when that drops to 50, so now we have 125 in there. And why isn't this working? Do you need to connect to there? I feel like it's not working right now. Because this should really be off. Because we have 135 fire ethers in there. Let's let's do something about this. Uh, compute blocks, inventory sensors. So let's put one over here, uh, one in here, one um, let's put one down there, and let's put one down here. Actually not. Let's move that a little bit over here. And then we need, let's see, what is this value that it wants us to set, I wonder. So we're going to offset you to this barn instead now. And you as well, offset to that barn. You are going to be ointment. Ointment. And I wonder what this value does. I really do. If we set that to 50, for instance, and then connect you, can we connect you to that in there? Okay, let's turn you on. That does mean that ointment is going. Hmm, now it's off. Why did it turn off? value is one now. Why? Because it created one? Hmm. All right, it turned on. On. What the hell turned it on? Okay, now it's zero. And that's because there is zero in there, because the boat just picked up. Now there's one in there again, which means that it's going. Okay, so I guess it's like a more than or less than thing. But the value keeps changing. One, did the boat just pick up? has three on board, there's two in there, and this is on. Okay. Let's see. The boat is coming back. It's still on. Change to zero. 
and that turned off for just a second. So, can we let, let's set this to zero? I guess it's just counting how many it's creating or something. Now it turned on and went back to zero. Now it's one. And because there came in one in there, and it turned on. Ugh. I don't get it. That's no, no, no. Don't do that. Remove logic link. No, I want to add, I want to remove them. Can we please remove logic link? I want to remove this one too. All right. I want to remove it. You know what? Let's just do this and now we can remove it. Let's build a math block here and say less than 50. You connect to there. No. You connect to there, and you connect to there. And then we'll see if this works. We are actually selling quite a bit of ointment. Hmm. All right, let's stick this back in for now. Hopefully, this works. Logistics block, grabber, there. Yeah. Alright. And that grabber should just always be on. Alright. So, we'll see. Okay. Next we have the fire ether. You offset to there. Offset to there. And be set to fire ether and math block less than 50 you connect to that you connect to that all right so hopefully that works then we have here, we have medical wraps, right there, and you are offset correctly, so that's good, and then we will put in the compute block, or the math block, like so, that it's uh, less than 50. You connect to there, you connect to there. All right. And what are we missing? We're missing the elixirs, which we have here. So, where is elixir, elixir? There. And, oops. Offset you to there. Put in the math block. Less than 50. You connect to there. You connect to there. And that tur actually turned it on. And out comes a bunch of fix here. All right. And that is off. So that's good. 
and the rest are on, which is the way it should be. Excellent. Maybe we fixed it. Maybe we fixed it. All right. Good, good, good. Let's upgrade this so we never run out of mana pipes. So we are actually up to more than 100 happiness now. Well, we were for a second, which is great. And I think in the next episode, we want to try and make, uh, if I can find them, Omni Stones. So did we actually research what we need to make that? Yeah, because we need Omni Stones to research. So we need to build a mana reactor. And we can do that. So in the next episode, we are going to build a mana reactor and find out how to get that going and what to do with it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.